the very out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit about yourself is that a hard question I, we've discussed this I've discussed this with her um well I like attended a seminar about interviews mm -hmm. and they talked a lot about that one so mm -hmm. I've kind of learned how to answer that so typically when you go on an interview and they say tell me a little bit about yourself don't say where you were born and all that in most cases, honestly, they're talking about what's on your resume. But like, well, you know, I have experience here, I worked here, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of went through, for me, I went through my whole education um, as a teacher, you know, the things, the schools I've, I've worked at, some of the things that stand out that I accomplished at that school, something I implemented at that school. So I went through all my schools and so on and so forth up until present. And then I talked about all my accolades, how I've been teacher of the year, highlight teacher for a school district, how I've been featured on the news, um, how I have 100% alternative seating in my classroom. It's all been provided by me and my subscribers. You know, so I, I bring all that stuff to the table. That's what they're asking when they say, tell me a little about yourself. So if you're not in a classroom, you're like, oh, when I work for um, HP, you know, I, um, raise the budget by a million dollars or I found a million dollars that was missing when I went through all the files and blah 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 whatever so that's what they're, they're, they're talking about you gotta come up with some good highlights about yourself or just talk about your work your work experience and she talked about all her school stuff mm -hmm. so what would you say Bobby so let's do a mock interview for those who are interested if you're a teenager or you if you have a teenager so all right <laughs> Put that down. Um, uh, I don't remember. Okay, talk about all your school stuff. So hers is more school. The activities she's she's involved in and all that stuff. So, Basically. So Bobby. Or would you like me to insert the clip where you interviewed? <laughs> no. Well we did it like thousand no. times. I could just do that then. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so basically, when they ask you that question, they just want to know, like, what, basically, what qualifies you for that job, mm -hmm. and, like, how you can bring what you've done to work with the, whatever, occupation you're trying to get into. So, basically, I just talked about everything, because with this internship I did, I had to um, go through a mock interview with her, which is quite difficult quite difficult difficult because of me well you kept playing at the end kept playing at the end. because at the end the, the last question i believe it was so why should we hire you for the position and i guess i kept changing my voice a little bit and she kept laughing but hey you can't laugh in an interviewer's face ma'am but i know that's not how you speak Oh, well, I had to put on my proper voice. <clears throat> so, why should we hire you for this position over someone else? See, so I was laughing. So, Bobby, it was great meeting you today. Don't call us, we'll call you. Hi, Bobby, it's nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Do I have to do this? Do I have to do this? Yes, you do. I don't remember. I don't like being on the spot. So I just feel like, mm, well, at school, stop. <laughs> you know, at school, I'm actively involved in a lot of different organizations like um, National Honor Societies, where we help around the community to volunteer wherever we're needed. And I'm also a part of my high school basketball team where I'm varsity captain, which has taught me a lot about leadership mm -hmm. and things like that. 
Yeah. So you yeah. talk about all the activities that you're involved in, or even if you're involved in community activities, activities at your church. They say you're an usher at the church and you escort people to their seats. That would work in a restaurant that will work as the host or hostess. So all those things, you can still weave them in and so on and so forth. And if you are in high school or if you are about to go to high school or if you know someone else or your child is about to enter high school or you can share this information with someone else, I've been telling my kids this since intermediate school. The activities, you all three of my kids, and see, I know I'm gonna talk too long. Y'all know I gotta talk and promise. Just calm down. All three of my kids got the same opportunities. I gave them the same speeches. Some I had to give more speeches uh, than others because they are a little different, but they all had the same opportunities at life. What they chose or what they choose to do with those opportunities is totally up to them. I can't force somebody to drink water if they don't, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna, you know take any action you can't lead a horse to water and make them drink it okay so that's why i say i don't feel guilty you know my kids have done different things the girls are still on uh one path my son chose another path we did get him through high school but since intermediate school i'm telling you just like i told my kids start to get involved in everything you can at school um what are some activities you got involved in at like intermediate junior high school I was really involved in student council. Student council, run for class president. What's something else? I don't know. It do, it really depends by school, but yeah. it, the, really in like intermediate school, it's just a lot of clubs mm -hmm. and that stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna say it doesn't matter, but yeah, but it's like the stuff that you do in high school is what mm -hmm. matters. Like whenever you're, you know, working on your resume or like working mm -hmm. on your stuff when you're submitting college apps they're not going to ask you what you did in junior high right it's really all about high school but it so. still gets you prepped for what's to come in high school and i just want to say just like i said i don't feel guilty you as a parent if your child decides to go this way and you've been trying to get them to go that way don't feel guilty if you know what you did for your children no no shake that guilt right off so I just want to say for the camera, not that I owe any explanation to anybody. I know that. I know that. Did I not groom y'all all to get involved in stuff since intermediate school? Mm -hmm. I said, and I kept saying, this is where it's going to count. High school, get involved. I said, this is where you start to build your resume and make a name for yourself. And then colleges, they want to know what else have you done besides, you know, a 4.0 GPA, 3.5 GPA. What else have you done? Oh, here's a list. Oh, my graduation. I got all these cords. How many cords you gonna have at graduation, Bobby? <laughs> I have no idea. So her goal was like, no, I want all the cords yeah, and I stuff. Know. Hopefully, like five, five cords they gonna put around your neck. Yeah, I don't know how many I'll get because you get a lot of cords for different things. Mm -hmm. You know, you get stuff based on your grades, where you're at in your class, GPAs. You can go like summa cum laude or something like that. Cum yeah. laude, you get those. But there's a lot of stuff, so yeah. hopefully I'm all iced out. <laughs> you will be, Bobby. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of Sydney. Um, class ranch just came on some water. On some coldest water. Class ranch just came out. Sydney was like, oh, oh, I put, you know. So class rank is still good and her stuff is so good, but it's not what she wanted. But she has another year. It counts up to what your junior. Yeah, like last year is pretty much my last year to really make an impact, so. Because I guess the junior year, you're giving all of those grades and sending all that stuff to colleges? Yeah, because we have to have our college applications. That is so crazy to think about. We have to have those submitted by like, I don't know, most of the deadlines are in like October, I think. I'm really not sure. Haven't done my research yet, but. But I'm, 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 I'm really proud of I'm really proud. I'm glad that they are, you know, my son graduated from high school. Um, you know, I try not to talk about him too much. I may do a video, just an update. But um, we did, I did, I was like, I don't care what you do, you getting your butt through this high school. What you choose to do after this, that's on you, buddy. You don't wanna go straight to college, then you gotta figure it out because 
in my mind that was the plan and you don't come up with anything else i've done videos how about this how about this i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i was like well you love to do this how about this i don't know i don't know i don't know I, every suggestion i gave i think this was his sophomore or junior year no it had to be sophomore because we were at the old house we were at the old house i did a video you go back senior no, he wasn't a senior. We were at the whole time too. He was a senior. He when was, I had that conversation with him, no. Well, he, not when you had the conversation, but Clinton was like junior, senior there. Because he graduated at that house. Oh, graduated at that house. He, he sure did. We've been here almost a year. So we had that conversation when he was a junior. You know, trying to figure out what he wanted to do, what's going to be the next step for life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We were in my bed together, laying down. You know, I just let's do a video and we talked off video too. So if you guys don't think I don't talk to my kids off camera, yes, I do. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's just sometimes a little frustrating when people think that this is this is it. No, it's not. There's a lot that goes on off camera than on camera. So anyway, I just wanted to give you those few little tips. If you have a high school student or um, you know somebody else that this can hopefully be encouraging for them it's not too late just get involved in stuff and that helps build the resume and sometimes you know i know she wants to work i know she wants to work i know she wants to work but then she's involved in so many things that i don't i don't know sometimes it's just tough does she work or does she commit to basketball that could be a possible college scholarship or her academic scholarship so i'm like what's more important is it getting this job so she can make a little, little twenty dollars a week or something like that or putting all her effort into you know being team captain being on a be being a tutor at school which she did get paid for by the way so that was her really really first job she was a, a tutor at school she loved tutoring and math um and all the other things she's involved in so it's like that's where i was never really pushed a job with her or my other daughter because they're involved in so many different activities and then basketball on top of that, it's, it's a lot. And taking AP, pre-AP, dual credit. Why well, I'm gonna be like, oh, you need to get a job. So I just, you know, the struggle is real. <laughs> I be doing a lot. Yeah. And that involves her because she gotta take me to everything and pick me up from everything. It's rough out here, y'all. It's rough. It's out not, here. It, it has been rough as a single mom and frustrating financially because they're involved in so many things and where I've chosen to live so they had you know decent school and so forth and me having the only car so it has been rough Our and baby. draining <laughs> but at the end of the day you know it's all for the good of the kids so I got two more years to yeah go. you got, got two, two more years, years to go. <laughs> I did that thing y'all so with Clinton, two more years. So two more years. So with Clinton to be, so I can't just say it was 18 years because I put in that time with Clinton. 19. So about 20 years. Nine, my, what is your, 19. 19 years of my life, I sacrificed for the kids. They didn't ask to be here, but I didn't know I was going to be doing it by myself. Not in a million years. And, um... I'm not, you know, no regrets. It's just, it was just, it was just a tough, I'm just going to say 20 years. It was a tough 20. <laughs> it was a tough 20. But I almost at the end, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm proud of all the kids and hopefully my son will come around. Um, you know, really, really proud of the girls. Proud that my son made it through high school, you know, at a minimum. And maybe, you know, he'll turn out well doing something else later. That's a whole nother story. But you know I'm proud of you, right? You get my text I sent you. That was Wasn't very, that sweet? That was very out of the blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I want you to know how special you are. I appreciate you. You're welcome. I liked it. You did? Did yeah. you smile? Yeah. You did smile? She was out with her friends and I sent her a sweet little text. It was I was like, what you, what you want? <laughs> what you want? I want you to bring me that chicken on the way home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. It seems like we talked more than we ate. And I would say with mukbangs, I know it is about the food, but for me, I feel as though it's about the conversation more. So maybe I should no longer put them on my food channel and just hang that channel up. What is your suggestion, if you're still here, what do you suggest? Do I continue on this channel? Because it's like, on a food channel, people just want to see you eat. They're not really invested in the conversation. Y'all know I got the talking problem. I don't know if there's a medication for that yet. I'm not ready to find out or take that medication yet. So, baby girl, you gonna be here for the conversation, baby girl. Or watch us eat and then click off, baby girl. Come back when you're bored and listen to the convo, okay? So calm down. All right, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Just hit the thumbs up for your girl. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, later.